opening states that um, one type of voter voice should not be overwhelmed by another. But that is exactly what the Electoral College does. Because if you want electoral votes for, let's say, Texas, you need 50% plus one. That means the rest of the 49% has no say because the Electoral College, the electoral votes are all that matters. Because the pop, as of right now, the popular vote is just something that's there. You just see it as a number because the electoral votes are what that actually matters. Thus, notifying about 49% of every state, it technically overwhelms throughout the nation. For example, in the most recent election, Hillary Clinton, despite winning the popular vote, loses the electoral vote. But she got 48% of the popular vote. That means 52% voted against her. Thus, this is an odd case, despite that she won the popular vote, but lost the elect elect electoral vote. Um, <coughs> that even in a direct democracy, um, this uh, it ties in with uh, their um, statement about uh, two, uh, two parties, where um, Two parties are in an ideal situation because you have two overwhelming majorities, and if you try to have a third party, they just um, they just take away votes and cause a situation like this where the, a majority would not be voting for a, for a, for one candidate, and it'll just be small pieces and not a um, not a 50 percent plus one throughout the nation. Um, Aristotle talks about how um, states would um, lose um, influence in, in the election, but that's irrelevant because in a direct democracy, states wouldn't matter. It would only be the people. So a Republican in California will have the same voice as a Democrat in California, despite in an electoral college setting, uh, <coughs> in, in an electoral college setting, uh, Republic in California essentially has no voice because the California is a safe state for Democrats. Thus, if he votes on election day, it doesn't mean much because it'll it'll go to the Democrats. But in a, in a direct democracy setting, he'll have the same voice as any of his peers. Um, this is this also um, ties on. Um, they stated how. This also forces um, candidates to go um, forces candidates to campaign in more than just swing states. Um, in an article by um, the BA Public Choice, they found that additional spending in certain areas has a positive effect on turnout rates. So, so having it as a direct democracy, it would force candidates to go more places than swing states. Thus, increasing turnout throughout the whole uh, nation as a throughout the whole nation, and um, um, the opponent argues that um, this would leave with <coughs> high concentrated cities or states such as New York or uh, Los Angeles to have a, a bigger say. But that's that's not the case because it counts the whole people as a whole, and there won't be a first past the post system and everyone gets an equal voice. And um, um, no smaller uh, amount of people will be nullified um, because, um, because they, were, they decide to live in a state where uh, not every, the majority doesn't follow what they think. You're out of time, by the way. Oh. Yeah.